to, to perform a CAR T-cell therapy, you need at least a limited capability to also treat the patient on an, on an intensive care unit. So you need availability of intensive care beds. So this is an issue and can be an issue um, if you have a lot of COVID-19 patients on your intensive care unit. Now, during the whole period, we never had this issue. So we continue to give CAR T cells even in, during the, the maximum times of, uh, of the COVID-19 pandemic. The second issue could be that some drugs you, we use to actually treat side effects of CAR T cells like um, tocilizumab or anakinra, that these are also drugs that are used to treat the cytokine storm that is associated with COVID-19. So it could be a shortage of drugs that, that we need to control side effects of CAR T cells if there is a, a, a high number of uh, patients with severe COVID-19 manifestations on the intensive care unit. Apart from this, of course, all, for all clinical trials, it's an issue that we need to do on-site monitoring, which, is, which was ex ex at least very difficult during the COVID-19 times. But we, I think we have to work on other forms of virtual monitoring of clinical trials. And I think that's something we have to improve for the future to be more independent from COVID-19 and, and, and maybe other viruses that will come up in the next five or 10 years.